So it's happened again. Rachel Zegler has gone viral and is being attacked for another comment that she made regarding her next film, Hunger Games Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes. As she claimed that Hunger Games was the first movie to feature an anti-establishment female lead. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? When obviously we've all seen movies like Mulan and V for Vendetta, to name a few, which definitely center around an anti-establishment female, so clearly this comment is false, and it's very similar to the comment that Jennifer Lawrence made about Hunger Games, where she also got attacked, where she claimed that Hunger Games was the first action film to center around a female lead, when of course we had also all seen Kill Bill, starring Uma Thurman, about 15 years before Hunger Games. And this comment from Rachel Zegler comes right after and basically in response to Brett Cooper's Snow White, in which she has made it a point to not bring politics into the marketing of or in the film, as she even said this on her own YouTube channel. That really is the main point. We're not trying to turn Snow White into something that it's not. We're not trying to turn Snow White into a MAGA conservative movie. We're just trying to represent the values that Snow White is based in, the timeless values that we all loved growing up that are sadly being forgotten in this new adaptation. Which makes me happy as it would be very easy to market this film in that typical anti-woke agenda way, but that would be just as bad because you're making the movie about something that it's not and you're also using politics the same way that Disney is to market your movie. And I honestly did expect that to come from Daily Wire. I did think that they would use a sort of more right-wing approach to this film and market it in an anti-woke way, and market it in an anti-Disney way. However, they've made the active choice not to do that, and you have to commend them because they've kept it about the story, they've kept it about the values that have stayed true from the original Snow White, and I honestly applaud them for that choice. Because we've definitely seen political pandering from both sides just as badly, and we've seen people from either side not take into account nuances or perspective, and I think that's where we're getting at with Rachel Zegler's comment. Because this comment that she made was clearly in promotion of the movie, but why even bring politics into it? Especially when the political comment that you made just isn't true. It just doesn't make sense to me because you can leave any sort of political belief that you have in the story, you can showcase it through your work, but there's no need to market a film around politics. And I think that's the real problem that we're getting here in today's Hollywood society, where politics has infected our world so heavily and to the point where people now just try to shout over each other for attention. Because I feel like Star Wars is, is very like patriarchal. So. And it seems that politics is being used time and time again for marketing because it is the one thing that can get you heard. If you focus on shouting your political belief louder than someone else, you're going to get more clicks, you're going to get more attention. And I think that's why politics has infected so many Hollywood movies because they notice how well politics can market your your film. However, the problem is that when you focus on shouting louder than the other side, you forget to critically think, and I think this has occurred on both sides of the argument, and it's definitely occurred here with Rachel Zegler's comments, where it seemed to be more based in being heard, rather than actually looking at the truth of the matter, if you were to critically think, and see that there were movies like Mulan and V for Vendetta, which paved the way for female anti-establishment films. And I'm aware that I've been caught up in this occasionally as well, where I've also focused on being heard rather than thinking, and I admit that, and I think that us as creators or artists or storytellers need to make a commitment to actually analyzing ourselves and making sure we grow from our mistakes and making sure that we keep critically thinking and don't just focus on being heard. Because what the true focus in Hollywood should be is on creating a quality story that reflects the nuances of life Life, rather than just being the loudest. And you can get across political points of view in a film or in interviews without coming across as brash and without being able to be attacked. And the racial conversation, the garden party scene, you know, again, it was something that was my experience, my, my truth so often I hadn't seen it. I think it applies to not just black people, but any minority, I believe it, it applies to. If you're the only woman in a room full of men, there's this otherness that happens. The, the, that experience when you're seen as what you are, 
before you're seen as who you are or who you potentially. Because I can't attack anyone for their political beliefs because it's their beliefs, they're entitled to them. And I think a good example of this is when you watch a movie like Get Out or a movie like Fruitvale Station, those films get across political elements, get across political beliefs and get across political statements through a quality story and through a good piece of art. And even when it comes to the interviews around those films, they took into account nuance and they didn't focus on just being loud and being brash, but rather on telling the truth of the situation. And that's why movies like Get Out and movies like Fruitvale Station are so good because they're committed to truth and they're committed to quality storytelling. And so that's why I commend Brett Cooper for putting the focus on storytelling rather than political pandering. Because even though I don't agree with some of her political beliefs, I can definitely applaud someone who chooses to put story and quality of work first rather than their own opinions, which are just that, their own opinions. And no one else has to think the way you do. No one else has to agree with you. So why don't you focus on just telling a good story rather than trying to anger other people or trying to get other people on your side. And don't get me wrong here, politics 100% can be in a movie, but it should be focused on benefiting the story and it definitely needs to take into account nuance while also telling the truth of a situation like I already said with movies like Get Out, but a great example of this is also a movie like Killers of a Flower Moon, which recently came out and was very political, but it also told the truth of the situation and it showed the harm that came to the Native American people in a way that understood all perspectives but got to the root of the problem and actually told the truth. Because while I think Rachel Zegler has made some fairly strange comments to put it lightly, I recognize that she is talented and if she could keep the focus on the work itself, she'd be doing great and whatever political opinion she wants to say, she can go ahead. However, it seems that these statements recently that have gone viral seem to be more about being heard rather than actually having a critically thought out opinion and actually telling truth. And like I said, I've made the same exact mistake that she has, so I understand it and I don't begrudge her for it, but I feel like we can all do better, especially as artists or creators like myself. We should always strive to be better and grow for the benefit of storytelling and the world, because especially looking at movies in Hollywood, they have a direct responsibility for how they shape people's minds and beliefs, and I don't think you shape them through the political opinion you push. I think you shape them through the way in which you tell that political opinion. Because if you're able to get across a story that reflects all perspectives and understands all sides, yet still chooses to push one opinion, that's fine. Because what people take from that is that you looked at all perspectives. You came from a place of love, a place of love for the world, a place of love for storytelling, but came to find the truth of the situation and you told the truth. Because at the end of the day, what makes a story great is when it does focus on truth, when it does focus on getting across the reality of a situation, rather than looking at it from just one perspective or one side, but actually getting to the root cause of any problems. And that's the power that cinema has. That's the power that Hollywood has. And that's why directors like Martin Scorsese and directors like Jordan Peele have been able to get across their movies and their political opinions in a way that is bulletproof and can't be attacked because all they did was tell the truth and they made sure to never focus on just being heard, but rather put the focus on telling a good story. But what are your thoughts on this situation? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.